Welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhal. Let's look at today's top health highlights. Myths and facts about menstruation. Menstruation continues to be associated with stigma, myths and taboos among rural and marginalized communities in the country. UNICEF reports that approximately 1.8 billion individuals globally experience menstruation each month, including girls, women, transgender men and non-binary individuals. In 2013, a German NGO called Wash United initiated Menstrual Hygiene Day through a month-long social media campaign aimed at raising awareness about various aspects of menstruation. With so many taboos around sexual and reproductive health, many Indian women are fed misinformation about their periods and menstrual cycle. It is crucial to understand your body properly to avoid following false ideas or traditions that can harm your health or make your life uncomfortable. So I guess it is the right time to break those myths and know the real facts. Some people believe that menstrual blood attracts wild animals. Whereas there is no scientific evidence to substantiate the notion that menstrual blood attracts wild animals, menstrual blood does not possess a distinct scent that would attract animals more than any other type of blood. There is also a myth that menstruation is dirty and impure. This misconception has its roots in ancient times. However, it is important for everyone to recognize that menstruation is a scientific process and a natural component of the reproductive cycle. In young women between the ages of 11 and 14, it signifies the beginning of puberty. Menstruation occurs when there is no pregnancy after ovulation, leading to bleeding from the endometrial vessels. This prepares the body for the next cycle. Therefore, menstruation is a natural process and there is no valid reason to believe that it is that it renders a woman impure. Some people also think that foods such as curd, tamarind, and pickles must be avoided during menstruation. Whereas this is not true, food does not have the power to affect your periods. However, certain type of food can make you feel better or more irritable because they can impact your blood sugar levels, which in turn can influence your hormone levels. The another myth is that PMS is just a mood swing and not legitimate health concern. PMS is an actual and widespread condition that impacts numerous women. It includes various physical and emotional symptoms that can generally affect a woman's overall well-being. Identifying and addressing PMS is crucial in promoting women and their overall health. There is also a myth that during menstruation, one should not exercise. Whereas exercising can help reduce the symptoms of PMS and menstrual pain as well as relieve bloating. Exercise also triggers the release of serotonin which can boost your mood and make you feel happier. However, some women experience heavy flow or intense menstrual pain. For these women, it may be necessary to take it easy and rest for one to two days. But still, in rural and marginalized communities, there are many misunderstandings, false beliefs and social rules surrounding menstruation. By challenging and dispelling these misconceptions, we can promote better menstrual hygiene practices and improve the overall well-being and respect for women in rural areas. Empowering women and providing them with information is crucial in this process, but it is important for everyone to understand that menstruation is a natural and normal bodily process and does not indicate impurity. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.